Kia ora everybody and welcome back to Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. I'm Skating Hobo, you can call me Bailey, and today we're heading back into Osugo Necropolis to wrap up some of those side quests in there. If you remember last time we made our first way through and we took out the ancient obelisk when we were done there. And um, yeah, today we just got some side quests and all that kind of good stuff to get through. Man, I don't know why it always starts us at that... Um, talk is one. And why it starts us at this gate, like... Who's going to want to spawn here? This should be default spawn point or something. Maybe like by there? I don't know. But yeah, I hope everyone's having a nice day, nice week. I think it's Sunday? Honestly, I should know, but I just straight up don't. That looks... Ah, oh, four and semi. Nah, that's not quite it. I was I was gonna buy that five and semi. See, I want like if this is full auto, we'd buy it. Claw and stab. Hold on a tick. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna grab this. Now we look. The moment of truth. Our first claw stab. Oh yeah. Got the cape in full. Our shoulders are a bit lackluster compared to our last set, but we got that wing on one. But yeah, I think we look alright. And the colour scheme still works, so let's head into here. And um, yeah, I think there was a quest we need to pick up, plus one we already had. So we'll head to that one that we've already got. And if we pick up the one on the way, cool, cool. If not, we'll grab it after. Whoops. Alright. So, where's that? Holy moly, I forget how big this place is. Here, there's that side quest over here, and our main quest is in the middle. Oh, oh, there's no real, like, where are these? See, that one's below, we don't want that. That one's at the start, we don't want that, and we're at the Hall of Heroes, so I guess this is our best bet. But then, yeah, we gotta go back this way. There's a few traps that'll kinda poke our bum, but that's okay. Rage, brother. Chase me the whole map. If you dare. Blanco, come on. Blanco, don't fight the raging Cyclops. Come on. Okay, well, you fight the Cyclops. Can we even get back this way? But I don't think we can, because there's this whole, like, slide thing. Are we going to have to come in from the start of the level? Probably. Looking at how it's going. Because, yeah, we dropped into here. Aya. Okay, well that's, um, moderately annoying. Wait, nah. Did I miss something? Because walking this way, we should have just been able to just walk straight over. Maybe I am missing something. Let's, let's go to the Hall of Heroes and see what we can see. Maybe that was just the... Is this the boss fight area? Nah, this is where we want to go. Okay, cool. Cool. Sorry about that. Got a little bit, uh, confused there. Okay, let's see if we can shoot off this Cyclops head. Here we go. So he should be raging now. Can we go like... No. Oh, hey bud. And he's raging too. Maybe we can get them to all just kind of have a big ass brawl with each other. I think the raging one died. That's a bummer. Yeah, I'm just trying to get these guys to become like bigger super rages. Okay, I think all three of these guys are raging, right? Surely someone kills someone else and we get a bigger boy. Let me just throw a couple shots at one to help. You, go away. Alright, come on guys. Fire club, fire club. Who the? Hey yo. Blanco, can you go take out that guy? Wait. How'd you even get your eye back? I call bullshit. Oh, okay. Well, that didn't. That didn't need any positiveness. Well done, my lovely. Oh, 
I'm just looking around for any like kind of golden glow or obvious dice or something. How do we get out of here? Wait, is this even possible? Is it the elevator? Nah, wait, yes, no? Nah, the elevator will take us back to the area that we... What the heck? Can we just not get back this way? Because there's this pillar and then there's a wall in the way. If we have to go from the start, that's mad annoying. But yeah, I don't see any... Like, I don't think we can go this way. Damn it. Okay. To the perimeter, and we have to run the whole way over. Damn, that is a... That's a shitty spawn sport. Yeah, yeah, we'll just run past, um... We picked up one thing. Nice. We'll just run past every enemy along the way. We gotta go find Merrick. And apparently we've got to take the longest way around. It's alright, we're pretty quick. And I think if I think if I remember correctly, if we kill someone with this shotgun, we get move speed. So I'll see if I can just quickly pop the top of someone. Whoa, what? When did we... What is that? I thought we had the thing that was like, it clicks. Spawns ice spikes that bounce between target. Yeah. Oh wait, did we change it for something else? I think we changed it for something else last part, thinking it was the same thing, but this is um, clearly different. Oh, yeah, that gets us our move speed, so... Kill. Do, do, do. Damn, we are quick. Oh, it's cool. I mean, it bounces between the enemies, so that looks like it does like a good amount of damage, but... Yeah, that is not the one that we had, where it was like, clicking. Whoa. Okay, so up this. Over here. Man, it's gonna suck when we get to the area and I'm like, oh, we could have just gone the, like there was a real obvious way to probably go. And I doubt it. This is the city. There's definitely no spawn points around here. Like, this looks like something to me. Like, I would hide a dice this way, right? I know I should probably just continue with my quests, but really? But yeah, the curious in me wants to go check it out. Can they not? Oh, man. Can I get up here? Yep. Oh look, there was a dice. I want to go this way. Oh, not quite. Maybe if I... Wait, what's this? What's that even for? And how do we open this? So many questions. Go away. Okay. We've been distracted long enough. Let's head to this quest marker. Apologies on how distracted I got. I'm sure no one really minds. It's all content, right? It's all something to watch, something to listen to. That's kind of all YouTube really is. Pew. Whoa. Never send a corpse to do a Hi. Into here, where's Merrick? You there, traveler. Hello, I am Merrick, last keeper of the Blue Hat Guy. Bait. Shadows gather, and then he's a quest guy later. All worlds is nigh. Only the chosen one of prophecy can halt its silent march. And uh, sure, yeah, but what's up with Blue Hat Guy over there? Oh, uh, we thought the same thing. You're awfully insistent about this guy being unimportant. Completely normal amount of insistence. Uh huh. Okay, let's go talk to Blue Hat Guy. See what's really going on here. <laughs> so just ignoring Merrick. But don't forget about Merrick. Thor, what's your name? Lucius. Lucius. I'm Lucius. Lucius Hadley. 
It sounds pretty, uh, made up. <laughs> oh, no. I was with Tina, like, he just made it up. I'm gonna interrogate, okay. Hiya. Oh, maybe that wasn't the way. Oh, wait, blue hat guy, where you gone? Yeah, running on the sand as well. Not good for you. <laughs> I like the idea that, like, I don't know, that Tina really did not plan this guy to be anything other than just a fancy looking NPC. And, um, what's his name? Valentine's like, no, 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 no. That's gotta be a baddie. Where'd he go? Merrick, what you up to? I mean, I'm just following you, totally normal, doing normal things. Oh, maybe this thing releases it? Really, I feel he me. Does it? It does. I know I gotta go check it out. Hold on, blue hat guy. Don't don't go too far. I don't want to lose you. Oh, hey, there's a chest. Nice. Blue hat guy, I'm coming. Chew on this. Oh, I was really hoping that my uh, shoddy would be able to finish you off. Like that, or that. Blue hat guy, let's go, I'm quick as. Yeah, I'm faster than you now, bro. You're following me if I go in front of you. Come on, I'm almost there. Just a little, and I'm, bro, stop following me. Why are you following me? Blue hat guy, please. Are we turning? I thought I already spied this poetry page. Or well, maybe I didn't get past the barrier. Wait, is it just, like, running in circles? Because that's awesome. Hey, blue hat guy, where you going? What? what? Oh, hey, priestess. No, oh, thank you. Hey, I'm following you, blue hair guy. It's my quest. I don't know where we're going or if you're actually anything, but Valentini seems to think so and Fred agrees, which is very rare. Oh, is that a was a dice? That barrel was hanging there looks ominous. We've got him cornered. Pew. He'll pay for whatever bad thing he probably did. I feel like this is not a good spot to stand, bro. Oh look at that, all your attacks missed. Whoa. What? This guy's armor class must be insane. We gotta find some way to do damage. I am super invested <laughs> in killing this guy for whatever he probably did, is doing, or he vanished. Whoa. Maybe he's invisible. Do we kill him? Oh, he's like claptrap. All of your attacks fall short. Hint, hint. Wow, I just whiffed completely around the badass because of the auto aim trying to hit the little fellas. Times like that, I'm like, auto aim, you suck. What if something else falls on him? Yeah? You see what I'm getting at there? We already did this, didn't we? I already did this. Now we're looking for a secret layer, which looks like this. Sus. <laughs> Tina feels so over this. <laughs> I like that. I don't know. It kind of seems like Fred and Valentine are just running with their own ideas, and Tina's just like, you know what? Fine. There's blue hat skeletons, and there's, there's a badass, and all this. I already did that. Why is it still talking about it? 
getting a leak. Ha! You're too late, adventurers. I, Lucifer, the evil. Lucifer, I like that. I don't see any uh, dice or anything cool around here. Boom again. Did you completely miss the secret cult of Sky Park? No way! Both your suspicions were totally right! So crazy! How did you know? Wow, you guys are so smart! Go save the world! Hurry up! <laughs> uh, melee the Sapphire's is Right, okay. Now, will my, like, melee range attack work here? Like, can I just... Yeah. Yes, I love this frickin' sword. Where's your third one? I can't see the sapphire blue hat guy. Am I... Am I being silly? Hello? Oh, it's here. Yeah. And now I feel like I need a check over here. Yeah, nothing. Okay, so, as far as I can tell, we we had a quest with Merrick. Those two focused way too hard on Blue Hat Guy, so Tina was like, fuck you guys, Blue Hat Guy is now our quest. Which, fair enough, but, um, what a quest. <laughs> if we didn't do all that, like, lost running around at the end, we wouldn't even be at 10 minutes right now. That was so short. No complaints, but, like, a bit different. All right, well... Next is this one over here. Oh, we got that level up. Let's just put that in. For this one, I'll probably just go my move speed again. Oh, no, move speed at 10 is probably enough for now. Let's go gun handling. Which I think is just like weapon swap, reload speed, like a little bit of everything. Accuracy, all that good stuff. I see death. Wow, I love when the shoddy like launches them. This will be over before you can regret it. Where you going? Thank you. Looks like it's just in here. Hey, um, Corbin. I'm accepting. Excellent! Man, I don't know if anyone watching is old enough to remember or New Zealand enough to remember, but there were these like McDonald's toys that were like, I don't know, they were like squishy, soft teddy kind of plushy things, but they had like a speaker in them, and you'd smack them and they'd say stuff. And my favourite one used to say that, it'd be like, Excellent! I think this did was rugby or something. Like there was a Crusaders one, a Hurricanes one, and all that stuff. <laughs> that was a lot of maybes and perhapses and all that stuff, brother. Alright, Sacred Shrine. Whee! The shrine is as dead as a very dead duck. It used to absolutely crack it's a very dead duck. Oh, I thought it was a dog. I was like, yo, what? I mean, it's pretty messed up either way, but... Yeah, I think we just smack stuff. I'm on it. I kind of like it. The uh, path is appearing as we get there. But I'm pretty sure with my weapon I could just ranged hit them. Nice. That looks great. Hold on, I just got to get rid of this fella first. Lightning crystal. Excellent start. That crystal of lightning is going to give us more fizz than anything else on the market. But fizz alone won't move products. There 
are three more shrines in town, and each contains an elemental crystal I need. Alright, I guess we gotta go for a few more shrines. This new cola, the ones of I'll go for this one over this side first. Then I'll, uh, let's, let's take a guess. I'm thinking this is gonna be frost. I'm guessing poison is in that area where it said poison shrine where we were doing that blue hat Merrick quest initially. So we're probably gonna go all the way back over there. What have we got? Into here. Too, huh? Looks like it's into here. We'll oh, hello. What you got for me? Ugh. Sometimes you open a chest and you just feel disappointment. Must what being a parent's like. <laughs> ah, Fire Lord Cinder. Nah. My favorite Fire Lord was Ozai. Fire Lords. Ah, okay, so we got Ozai, Zuko, uh, what are the other Fire Lords names? Man, that did way less damage to you than it did to the first one. Hold up, bro, I gotta reload. Hey, yo, El Tigre, I mean, Blanco Tigre, can you please take him out? What this? Ooh. It's just a material for my statue, but, you know, still, anything new, it's exciting. <laughs> Flame pop. I mean, yeah, think about it. If you went to, like, a, a dairy or a service station, or I don't know what they have over in other countries, but over here we've got dairies and servos. If you went to one of them and, and they had Flame pop, I think it would sell. Especially nowadays when people are like, oh, that's fire, bro. People are like, oh, flame pop, bro, that's so fire, bro. What's up with these weird semi barriers? We. Alright. Oh, look, that's that puzzle. We better get that unlocked on our map. Ice cold soda. Oh, hey, it's this place. <laughs> you just smack the door open now. Oh, hello. Okay, so deactivate the Shrine of Frost. Um. These ley lines look like they do something, but I gotta figure out how to get up there. Well, that's nothing. Maybe it's this way. What about this thing? Ah, yeah. I get up to that one. Like, I wonder if I can just. Hey -ya! Not quite. Hey -ya! <laughs> Wait, did that actually? <laughs> this sword is amazing. <laughs> yeah, dude. I should, and I will. Ice cold. Oh. Bro, I thought we were singing some outcast, huh? Is this open? How are you meant to do that? That way? There's like a, I, I'm curious like how you're meant to get there. There's like a staircase at the back. But, pff, I got no clue. Oh well, off to the Shrine of Poison, which looks like we can go this way. Hello? Oh, hello! Oh, this is just our Daggerstorm one again, but it's like a newer one? Like, I, I mean, I don't really use this black powder one for that, so... This with the side mount and everything? Eh, I can use this again, why not? Oh, 
use this kind of weapon type. Yeah, I don't know if you all remember, but like a few parts parts ago, we had a very similar one. But it had like that side mounted scope, so you look down the side of it. Very cool. <laughs> that is facts. That like energy drinks and all that stuff, they destroy your mouth. Okay. Oh, da King. Who's Da King? Okay. Oh. Okay, so we got like what, a crystal girl over here? Why don't you tell me about my rising sun and my chakras? The only chakras I want to know about help me cast ninjutsu, brother. Daggerstorm! Yo. A uh, cyclopod. In my opinion, that's what you'd call them. A cyclopod. A wink. Cycloxin. I like that. Just call them a group of cycloxin. Oh, cyclopsy. I don't know, I kind of liked it, bro. It's better than cyclopods, which is what I would have gone with. Kind of like, um, platypus, or platypod. Pew pew. Oh. Alright, you need to go away. Here's a spell. Oh, he did the get over here pull. Get over here. Oh wait, he wasn't the badass one? Which one's he? The King! It's oh, pretty much just a badass Cyclops. Oh. Oh, grave. What you playing with down there, Blanco? Enamel Eviscerators. That sounds like all the Karens would hate it. So do it. Probably ever after. I don't know about that one either, brother. Come on back and we can get started. I don't know, man. I think the best names are the ones that basically say nothing. Like, just call it the drink. Call it the fizz. Big slurp. <laughs> to the pub. But it's not a pub. It's like a fizzy drink bar because this game's rated E for everyone. What is it? Is it T for teen? I don't know, whatever uh, rating they went for with not having alcohol in it. What's up, brother? Okay. Soda pop. Ha ha ha. That's such an American pun. Why is it even called pop? Like, what? What is that? Pop? Bing. No reason, Bing. Uh, okay, this. Bing. Bing. Oh, are we doing Captain Planet this time? Fire, earth, water, and air. With our, and I'll be love. With our powers combined, we make Captain Planet. Captain. Pla That's not Captain Planet. What the heck are you? Captain Planet, he's a hero. Gonna something something down to zero. I haven't watched Captain Planet in a few decades. <laughs> Is it love? You need love. No. Corbin! No, you can't become Captain Planet! No! Corbin! Ah! Corbin? What and the fuck? Is this the Avatar? All four elements combined? We get 
this. What? Love, Valentini. See? Nah, the love of the Earth, so we can bring back Captain Planet, baby. Yeah. Let's save the Earth together. <laughs> I knew it was love. Valentini, what a fool. Alright, I think, quest-wise, we got one quest left. Nice. I love that. Let's have a little, um, look around this map real quick. Is there anywhere I have not even slightly ventured to? There's that whole area around the side there. But yeah, I ain't got the slightest clue as to where, like, I don't know, the dice or whatever it could be. Let's see if we can do this, um, puzzle. Because, yeah, looking at the time that we're at right now, I don't know if we'll have enough time to uh, head to the firm of this episode, so it'll probably be up for next part. But because it's, you know, it's only like 30-odd minutes in, I think we could, we could try to fit in this little puzzle, see where they all go. I see no red lines. Okay, I see the red lines. Let's hope I can do this. I need to kill someone so we get more speed. It's underneath. Get them. I gotta get this guy. You get them, Blanco. Is it up? No, it's across. I gotta take this path. Oh yeah, we move quick now. Where's the next one? Thingy? Thingy? I think it's this way. Uh, oh no, it's this way. Oh no! Hopefully they didn't cost us too much. Oh, I thought we were going to make that. That's not good, we needed to make that. Nah, damn it. Alright. I think that uh, little distraction cost us there. Where is it? Oh, it's up there. Okay. We'll go quick. I reckon we can do this though. Oh, excuse me. See, this one's under. And this one's over here, and the next one's kind of like back a bit. Oh, can I hit you? Come on. Yeah, speed. Speed. Oh, I overshot it because of too much speed. Ah! <laughs> I missed. Alright. Here we go. Make this jump. And then up here. <laughs> yeah. Heck yeah, we did. Ew. What the heck? Hey, ladies. Get out of here. Anyway. Keeping my eyes peeled for dice and things, but... I don't know, there's a lot of them around here, right? Like, there was, there was ten, I think, when we initially came here. We found, like, two or three, so there's probably, like, seven or eight left. And Shoot, this place is huge. They could be anywhere. And there's so many, like, up and under bits, and those areas with the dispel barriers, like, half the times when I dispel something, I don't even know what I'm dispelling. Is that a dispel thing up there? Kind of looks like it. But, like, I don't think we can just get up there casually. Oh. What? No way. <laughs> Oh, hey bud, you're gonna give me a move boost, okay? Thank you. Maybe we can. Ooh. But then what's this do? Is it that room over there? It looks like it. What's in here? Ah, it's just a chest. See, I wanted a... I want a dice, man. Ah, inventory's full anyway. Alright, well, 
I ain't seen no dice. This portal thing's still up on one side, which is kind of strange. Hmm. I guess we are off to Bright Hoof. But yeah, if you want, you can always like pull up a, a map guide thing. You'll just have little dots everywhere to show you where all the dice are, the poetry pages, the lore scrolls, all that stuff. You know, it's real easy to get the interactive map just up on Google or whatever. But I'm not trying too hard to actually collect them all. Oh, yeah, we got gypsum. Massive lightning bolt, then chains to enemies. See that? Snowballing doodad of the chosen one. On action skill, increase damage dealt. While action skill was active, increase lightning damage. But this is versus armor. So I'll just leave the one I got. So this, no, I do need, I, I need a corrosion weapon, it's very important, because like, I don't know, <clears throat> the amount of like yellow health by enemies we come across is pretty high, and to me it just makes sense to have something that we can just swap to and melt them down. Alright, let's grab this, what did we get? A new facial feature. I think it was like, this is like eye makeup or something. Eye color. Oh, true. Oh, we got like purple, yellow, and red. Damn. Okay. Yellow is kind of more like cat-like than gold-like. Let's go red. Let's change our hair color to also be red. And then our armor decor. Alright, so pearly white chrome is like the main color of the cape and all that stuff. So if we make this one red, then the black middle is our scales and our mask and stuff. So I kind of want to leave that on black. And then the cyan. That looks kind of all good being white, just like real low key. Kind of reminds me of my first character, to be honest. I don't know if you guys remember him from episode one, you would have seen him. But, um, yeah. But then we got to change him from Blanco Tigre. Okay, we're going to call him... Alright, here we go. Red 14. So, like, if you know Final Fantasy VII, there's a, uh... There's a party member, it's kind of like a dog, kind of like a wolf, called Red 13. Well, this is a, oh my gosh, you look good with the, the black and the, the red and the white. Red 14, you look amazing. Alright, let's go. Oh, wait, 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 I just left it all on the floor, didn't I? <laughs> yep. Sheesh, I almost forgot all about this. Anything worth caring about? Nope, nope. Nope, nope. Oh, wait. Yeah, we need to use this one, too. Now, let's see what gypsum is for a statue material. Oh, it's kind of like... Whoa. Whoa. It's got like an obsidian-esque cape. Oh, is that just it loading late? Yeah, it was just loading late. Ah, oh. I was like, man, that's cool. It's got like an obsidian cape with the... the the obsidian crotch and the rest of it's all like white marble? No. No, the game was just loading. Boo. Wait, do we have another one? No, we just hadn't. That one we start. Ah, oh, goodness. Okay. Anyway. Let us head into Osu Go. And then when we come out of the um the map area into the world map thing, it'll have us right by the pyramid. Skaboom. I have no clue where we are. We're like under it. What is this place? What does this thing throw and turn into? Oh, it's a Hydra. Oh, that's kind of cool. We'll put one up there. 
make our walk. Wait, we're not heading this way, we're heading that way. Are you wow. I think the only problem with the SMG is comparatively to like my pistol or my other guns, it doesn't do much damage. Yeah, so there's no real need to uh, actually run there. We can just... No, that was close. We want to go Overworld this time, not Bryhoof. But then, yeah, much like in previous times, just so that I don't uh, come into the game and we're in the middle of nowhere, I'll go into the pyramid now. Ba -ba -ba. Bwah, ba -ba. Ba -ba. Q Q Q I cry about where cuz I'm a cry where baby that's what I hear when the dragon lord has his little speech really Like, yeah, I get it. If you were Woody from Toy Story and Andy knew you were sentient and threw you away, sure, but much like Andy, Tina doesn't know you're sentient, bro. As far as she knows, you're just a make believe whatever. Freaking Dragon Lord. Ah, oh, wait, let's. Health and ammo are full. Alright, thank you very much for joining me for that part. We knocked out pretty much all of the side quests that we have left. I think we'll unlock another side quest either in this area or post game. And that'll be all of the side quests for the entire game done. We, um, I don't know, yeah, we've, we've done a lot. We've come really far in these almost 30 parts. I think this is 28, 29, something like that. We'll have to, I'll have to check when I go to upload it. But either way, we're almost at 30 parts on this thing and we are getting there. But thank you very much for joining me for this part. I hope you've enjoyed yourself. I hope you had a good time. Uh, remember to like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell, all that good stuff that helps out the channel. Share it to your friends. Tell, tell someone you know to, to watch this and drop a comment on it and leave their opinion. But yeah, I will catch you guys next time for when we ascend the pyramid. Have a good day, have a good week, and kakite.